But first, <sighs> I I so don't want to do this, but I feel that it's getting to the point where I have to. Here and I've tried go. I've tried my best to avoid having to talk about this, and I'm not kidding. <clears throat> there was a post on the subreddit. I just said erase it because if I have to talk about this, Dad is gonna look like a fucking idiot. Talk about the allegations. Dad has been popping off about me and A B. Just like for no damn reason, and I don't understand what is wrong with this guy. A B, A B, A B, A B, A B. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, what? A B, A B. What could be wrong with that guy? A B, A B, A B. And like, I don't. I'm not. I don't want to go in on him too hard, uh, and I don't want to. And I don't want anyone to give him a hard time. But you know how it is with <clears throat> when it comes to things about me, is that there's so many people that hate me on the internet. When something like this happens, and Dad starts saying all this shit about how we made him cry, and <clears throat> um, he just cried a lot. And, uh, no, he said, I don't know, he's saying that I was, we were super mean and that we sabotaged him and that I'm a bad person and stuff. That, uh, people take it and run with it and build all this whole crazy narrative. So, my policy on all these things, since, um, since years ago when, you know, the whole internet turned on me, when Keemstar made this whole propaganda campaign, is to always address this stuff when it comes up, before it turns into a thing. Yeah. And I just want to say, I was, I was very disappointed when I saw this. I, it, it hurt because uh, I always, you know, I considered dad to be a close friend. I still do. So this was very surprising to see. I literally just put out a video prior to seeing these clips saying nothing but good things about dad. Yeah, I mean, me too. We, we, well, yeah. I know we got a little caught up in the moment, I admit that. But when we came back, we gave him all the love, I made a tweet about him, I invited him on the show, he said no, which again, he, he, he really, okay, where do I start with this? Uh, yeah, there's been a few posts on the subreddit of people being like, yo, what's the deal with dad? Um, let me start with, let's start with this one about AB, which I thought was so out of pocket. And I'm not, the reason we're only talking about this at all is because of the, the shit he said about me that's pretty wild. But, uh, here's it, here's dad talking about AB after the fight, or this is from the same stream. Here it is. Let's take a look. Partners purposely don't go super hard because they're <clears> protecting <throat> you. So you're training. You don't want to get knocked out before your fight. So AB's punches were the hardest I experienced, but I, after he punched me, I was like, oh, this is nothing. I can take these all night. That's why I took them and just worked on his body. But I think he would have punched harder if his form was better because he was throwing straight up windmills. If Dude, that's so fucking, that's like so corny, bro. To be shit talking mm. AB. Like, first of all, you won, yeah. That's it. You he you won, <laughs> won. bro. You yeah. got the dub. You're mm -hmm. gonna come out and like shit on your opponent, who by the way trained super hard. And by the way, dude, as tough as you want to act, your ass was scared as shit. Mm -hmm. I saw you. Yeah, we all saw you getting your ass beat out there in that first round. And pe people who are saying this is a bit, I messaged him myself yesterday, responded to me saying same thing and saying that he's just it came from a place of him being upset that he trained so hard and I didn't and I don't like I can't I couldn't believe what I was hearing like that AB trained I so much. I went through hell <laughs> and I was okay with the loss you know but hearing shit like this when I initially heard it Lena was live on stream and that's when someone sent it to me and I was like all right let's go to a, let's go to a gym this week and let's let's spar dad <laughs> if you want to have a camera it's up to you I don't give a fuck if you want to do it or not but uh, after seeing more of this, like I, that was when I thought he was just talking about me. But hearing him see, seeing him talk about Ethan and everything too, I was just like, all right, I'm not getting involved in this because it's never going to end. This is not a bit. Yeah. In fact, when it is a bit, he says it's not a bit. Yeah. He, you, know, you guys remember he got all butt hurt about the chair thing, which he continues to bring up. But here, let's continue about the AB thing. There's more than a bit. He had trained. He streamed. We saw him. He streamed every day. He did a 48-hour stream two weeks before the fight. Why are you bitter? You won. He sounds bitter. But first of all, that's such bullshit, bro. You can stream and train. You're not training 24 hours a day. The stream that he's talking about, I left twice during that stream to go work out. And I started that's it right awesome. after I worked out. That's yeah. awesome. 
By the way, he says you were throwing windmills. That's not true. And by the way, his form was not fucking like that amazing. <laughs> Dude, we both looked like shit. I mean, like, I'm just straight up like just, we both. It, yeah. it happens. But yeah, we both looked. I wasn't used to dealing with a fighter like him, and he has a weird style as well. We both <laughs> looked like ass. I mean, it's a YouTube boxing match. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that serious. But you know what? It makes sense that he he. <laughs> He's saying I should have tried harder, but you won. Maybe that is why I lost. Maybe I shouldn't. Whatever you want to say, just take it. Take the win. You won, bro. Take the dub. You won. It's not a grudge match. Damn. When I was, like, in the thick of it. So, I think that's why he didn't do as good, because he would put more effort into streaming this year leading up to the fight than he did training. I think he could have been better if he had trained as hard as I did. Well, to be fair, you have literally nothing going on except for this. So, <laughs> not as easy for him to train as hard as you, theoretically. Well, and, and to be honest, I think I trained a lot more than him too. I think he started the last few months while I was doing it long term because he was traveling and stuff. But yeah, whatever. This 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 claim that you didn't train is so stupid bro it's just it's insulting it's, it's lame insulting, yeah to a lot of people yeah you, you trained your ass off dude i put while it, doing a full time job which his ass doesn't have by the way yeah i would wake up at 6am go running i worked with ian's coach michael briggs the whole time and then after the, and he would send me a new plan every monday and then after work i'd go straight to the gym and depending on when the show ended i'd either train there for two maybe two and a half hours <clears throat> yeah we disabled chat, by the way, because <clears throat> I don't want the... There were, I just turned it yeah. off because everybody was already arguing with each other in there. Yeah, it's, uh, sometimes it it's just... better. It's better just turn it off while yeah. we talk about things like this so it doesn't get all heated. Uh, but, yeah, here we go. But, I mean, it's all hypothetical. Definitely. And, you know. uh, definitely. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we, we don't know, do we, anything about what he did or what No, through. I don't know. I don't, he never told oh, me what he right. actually did training-wise. But, like, based on his streaming schedule, and he was live all the time immediately after he'd get home from H3, uh, there was no time for him to be training. He'd... What the fuck, it's bro? Just not, it's not it's at just all so like... not true. Mm -hmm. I would never stream it before a show day either, so that's how you know that it's off. Well, right. Well, you trained, you trained before work usually, didn't you? No, I'd... I'd Run oh. before work, and then after work, I I train until the gym closes. Yeah, he was always running out the door after yeah. the show to go yeah. to the gym for mm -hmm. the last six months. It feels like yeah. He did not train twice a day every single day like I did. Bro, you're not Floyd Mayweather. You're a washed up YouTuber. Why is he doing this? I don't know. I That's don't what's so crazy why. to me. Well, he, I, well, he's so salty about what you want. Go ahead, Dan. Well, I just think we should maybe take a look at the stuff where he's talking about you because I think the stuff about you explain I don't think he's <laughs> saying any of this about AB if he wasn't so mad at you. Right, okay. So let's finish this and then we'll, we can address why he's, I guess, angry. Although, it's super unfair for him to turn it on you, AB, but mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's why he's doing it. Yeah. That's why I was able to take headshots for hours because that's what I trained for. Didn't look like it, buddy. That man was scared as shit. This man trained to get headshots for hours? Okay, I'd like to see the training. How do you prep for that? Just homies punching you in the head? Maybe that explains why your emotions are so unregulated. Well, it must have not been that hard if I was the hardest that ever hit him. Right. He hit right. <laughs> I'll have you know that I had my friends punch me in the head a thousand times a day in preparation for this fight. And it has left no lasting effects on my brain. I'm pissed off for no fucking reason. Interesting. That was the uh, gentleman who holds the world record for the most walnuts smashed with his oh, forehead. Oh, right, 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 right. Yep. Right. I recognize that sound bite anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Right. A little deep cut, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I don't know. It doesn't really matter ultimately. AB. Oh. AB is doing really well on streaming. I'm happy for him. I'm very, very. Seems jealous. You need, yeah. Let this. I forgot about this part. Yeah. I'm glad it's going well. Neither of us are boxers. Neither of us really want to be boxers. <clears throat> I do. I have a psychotic urge to win, and I will do whatever it takes to win. So I think that's why I did win. And AB, I don't think really has that as much because it's not that important to him, which is 
understandable it shouldn't be when you're an internet entertainer. Plus this game looks kind of fire. <clears throat> what game is that? Does anyone know? Wait, looks, sure. It looks like Ratchet and Clank maybe? Oh, oh! I was just gonna is say that too. One of those or Shit, I didn't realize it looked so good. This new one? <clears throat> I'm not totally positive on no. that. That's the game. I mean, <laughs> he got... He, he did pretty well out of Creator Clash, didn't he, really? Yeah, he got a ton of new viewers. Yeah. He's got crazy subs. Dude. Oh, it all worked out. He's so jealous. of. That's what this is all about? I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. This is... <laughs> I, I didn't even know he was trying to be a streamer. <clears throat> I, in my video I put out yesterday, I randomly threw in the most random-ass <clears throat> clip about him just to plug his Twitch. For no reason. I just, I don't know. This is all so fucking bizarre to me. Holy shit, he's so... Oh my god, dude. Ugh, brother. Imagine I won. Hey, I don't know, you wanna, I mean, guys, go... Uh, I, I, apparently, go sub to dad, you know? Amazon Prime dad. Let's get, let's... Let's, Amar, Thank you for let's Amazon Prime dad. That's all that matters at the end of the day, right? <clears throat> Good job, AB, by the way. Apparently you're crushing it so hard that this dude can't even fucking live straight. <laughs> Good for you. For him. I won, but I still have. Uh, do you think possibly, Dad, that your personality has anything to do with the reason why? Okay, so maybe I'm being too mean. But I mean, what is this? Okay, I'm sorry. I may be too mean. But I, okay, wait till you see what he says about me. You know what? You know what the problem is, though. <laughs> Definitely not me. <laughs> oh, more than you did have. I do have more. Yeah. This man just thinks people. He's just entitled for people to watch him stream. Just why? Like you have to at least do something that people want to watch. But okay, let's watch what he said about me. And I guess maybe I gotta. Maybe just posted his Creator Clash video. Did oh, you want yeah. to watch it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe? I don't really care. <laughs> I'm like so over Crater Clash right now. Uh, you won, bro. You had a triumphant victory. Everyone was loving it. The entrance was awesome. There was huge dubs for you. It's like so stressful. H3, audi H3 audience really made it like not fun and stressful. So I know there's it was like, stressful in so many ways. I know there's people in the H3 audience that are like nice, but there was a lot of lousy crap that I'm like, eh, whatever. And even after the fight, when it oh, was like, proven, yep, yep, when yep. And everything just a lot was proven, of, a lot of were... annoying. I think that's just people. stands though, isn't it? And and the cult like. What is he talking about? That we were getting like we were getting kind of riled up. So we, some people were like, I don't think it was a lot. Some people were like, yo, dad played dirty. And by the way, we made it very clear. We're like, listen, that was a, a legit win. It wasn't dirty. AB was clinching too. Totally yeah, we questioned it for a second during the live stream. And yeah. we all clearly didn't know the rules. And then as the live stream kept going, we were like, oh, clearly everybody's doing it. And we yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. even before the fight. Every comment that was in support of me, he was responding to. These people had one like, if even, and he's responding saying, oh, you'll see, you'll see, like, and just, I don't know, he's very defensive. He's too in the weeds because, yeah. I don't know, I, I usually see lots of overwhelming support and love for Dad. Yeah, our own audience, a lot of people say, I love you, AB, but Dad's gonna win. It's like, okay, I, whatever. Also, it's a competitive sport. Yeah. Like, there's gonna be trash talking and stuff, like, you... But he's the one guy that wants does to get the, into the WWE. He's, bro, he's the one that comes to the way in with a picture of AB's grave on his underwear. Like, yeah, he's that's the, what I'm that's talking another about. thing. It's yeah, like, he has merch with my gravestone on it. Like, <laughs> why why do you get to dictate what's a bit and what's not a bit? Yeah. Like, I don't understand that. Exactly. Way that they are, some of them, most of them. This are fine, bit suffers. But, <laughs> but unfortunately, the trolls and the mean people have, have the loudest voices. There's, yeah, yeah okay. I mean, it's also just the way the actual, the full actual H3 crew rea reacted. They were like incredibly mean to me. Grow up, bro. Dude, they were watching someone they're with every single day of their lives <coughs> fight. You yeah. did the same yeah. thing last year to Brett. And possibly be very injured. We I was concerned. really worried about yeah. him. I was really worried. And by the way, again, it's like, dude, grow up. We imme I immediately retracted it. We need to play baby time for dad. 
dad actually turned out to be the kid. Right. Baby Barnett. I don't know. Such a weird situation. Oh, like, <laughs> baby it, it is. Even... Well, and the, the only reason I'm listen. <clears throat> he knew that this is what would happen because this always happens whenever he, he it, this started to get tons of traction on our subreddit, and then it becomes a thing, you know. And then Keemstar makes a three-part documentary about how I destroyed Dad's life or something like that, <laughs> you know. After the fight, when I was saying nice things about them, they were just ignorantly rude and horrible, just because I won. It wasn't that serious. It's also, I w would like to add, we couldn't hear his speech afterwards because we were all talking and texting and we lowered it because we were trying to figure out what was happening with AB. Yeah, I was afraid. We thought our friend was dying. So we weren't, we weren't blatantly <laughs> Is that okay, Dad? something that was playing. We, j we genuinely didn't hear it happen. I thought he had ruptured an organ and he was dying, Dad. Is that okay with you? He dies. Is that what he's referring to? That we muted after we saw AB get really that, injured? That seems to be what he's upset that's about. that's fucking insane. <laughs> what the hell? What? Because I, yeah. Uh, all I remember is Ethan tweeting that uh, he was proud of dad and he's a dad fan. And then after when we were on the show on Monday, just saying nice things about him. So, yeah, that must be what he's talking about. Because I, I saw he was upset. So I was mm -hmm. like, I want to make it clear that. Dad is family. We like dad. Yeah. We love dad. But uh, I don't know what he wants me to do beyond. I don't know what more he wants. And it was like, all right, this is this is how you really are. Okay, you weren't like this. The Hundar. They didn't act like that. The Hundar. They never. Hundar does not. We Bro. talked so much shit on Hundar, and it was playful, and it was fine <laughs> because Hundar <coughs> understood that. I mean, he came on the show right after, and it was all good. Zach called him Bitch Boy Brett for like six months. <laughs> he was Bitch Boy Brett on this show. Like, we were always shitting on Hundar. But again, Hundar, you... you he got that it was a bit. Yeah, I, but you're the one that's, that's talking shit, bro. Right. Hundar. You're the one that's fucking saying his name 10,000 times with the, <laughs> with the gravestone. Do you not understand? Like, you are engaged in this. Hundar also redeemed himself. This is stupid, but he walked out to Slayer for his entrance, and it was pretty fucking badass. Yeah, he won Zach over with the Slayer walkout. Yeah. Mm. Slayer, Hundar. They never invited me on the show. Ethan just kept always saying, Oh, we gotta get Dad to call in. Okay, first of all, you are not entitled to be on my show. You can come on the show if I want you to come on the show. That being said, we did invite you on the show. Yeah, it's just, what? <laughs> And and he said no, and he's been on the show previously. He's like, been on, he's the been on this show times. multiple times. I don't I don't know if we've said that publicly, but he said he didn't want to come on. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can say it now. I invited mm -hmm. him on. And he said, and he was scheduled to call in. He was still traveling at the time, mm -hmm. and obviously this we wanted after to, the fight that we're talking about. We, the yeah. next that on Monday, Ad was here. Dad was still traveling. Of course, we wanted to talk about it on Monday. He was still traveling, so we said, Dad, call in. He was meant to call in, and then he sent AB a text saying, "You know what? I don't think uh, I don't think I want to call in. I guess because he's so upset. So, like, why would you say I didn't invite you, bro? And again, not that I owe you that anyway. Me on the show, Ethan just kept always saying, "Oh, we gotta get Dad to call in." Hundar was invited. Dude, you said no. He's acting like it was an empty invite. We literally think three people message him to tell, try to get him to call in. Call in. Hundar was invited on the show to chat and hang out. I wasn't. Okay. Well, maybe we. Maybe I like Hundar more than you. But that's my. But I'm. That's my right. Self fulfilling prophecy, too. It though, is right. Like, you know. But that being said, we did invite you. That's yes. the crazy part. We did. You know. I'm entitled to fucking, uh, this is my goddamn show. I can invite Hundar on and you not if I want. But we did invite you. <laughs> Just to be clear. I was only said call in so that they could do damage control because they were so mean to me. Damage control, bro. I was just trying to be nice. Because, you know, after the first chair fiasco, dad, dad kind of rubbed me wrong after the whole first chair incident where 
we were doing this bit, and then he's like, the guys really are mean about the chair thing. And that turned into a whole mini drama. Uh, so I've been a little bit skeptical. Because they were so mean to me, they had to be nice to me after. <clears throat> and I was never offered to even go on the show. I mean, it wasn't damage control. This be, it was just, we were just trying to be nice. I wanted to, I, I just want to make sure he was, you know. Why does he keep saying something that's so easily disproven? Like, it, this is honestly weird. Like, him saying they never invited me to go on the show. Like, you know how DMs work, right? Like, we, we have the receipts. Of it <laughs> I, I think he's trying to argue that we, he didn't get an in-person invite. He wasn't here on Monday. He was yeah. out of the state. Yeah. He wasn't here. You were here on Monday. God. It's kind of a hot topic. Did you want me to what did you want me to hold my show for you, Dad? As apparently he is the rightful uh dictator of what should and shouldn't be on our show. Or offer to even go on the show into the studio. So it's like, all right, dude, you're just trying to cover yourself. And you were like super mean to me this year for some reason and you weren't ever like that to Hundar. The whole year last year they were not that mean to Hundar at all. Like he they weren't even like making jokes about me. They were just being they were saying F you and they're just saying straight up insults <laughs> with no joke at all. I don't know. I what could he's probably put about, like a yeah. 30 minute compilation of us talking mad shit on Hundar. Like you're just wrong. You're but wrong. I don't know what he's talking about. We were saying we were just mean with no punchline. After He's the, the one who was saying he was going to kill AB again. It's, uh, God. After the first chair thing that went kind of sideways, I was like, okay, he's obviously sensitive and stuff, so I'm just going to be straight. I'm not going to do any shtick and stuff. And uh, So I'm not really sure what he's talking about. All, and it was just, why am I even like associating with these people that are just like so uncreative and so... Uncreative? Just <laughs> randomly negative. Hold the phone, Skittles, man. Don't call me uncreative. I'll have you know that uh, at behind this curtain, I was ready to have a, a doctor finger me in the asshole. <laughs> now you want to call me uncreative. I've never seen that on YouTube, have you? It's a performance. Why don't you make that another 20th Skittle commercial talk to me about uncreative, Dad? Mm-hmm. Funger. Funger. I got creativity coming out my ass. So bad that I need a doctor to check it. On the show live, thank you. See that UFO? Oh, creative. Come on. We mean to me. Also, let's compare his streaming setup to yours, AB. I mean, yours is a lot cooler. Oh, mine is fucking dope. That's what I'm saying, you know? There's a reason people like your stream more than his. Mm -hmm. It was stupid. I was like, this is dumb. I'm not involved with any of this anymore. I'm, I'm over it. So that's how I feel right now. I'm kind of like, yep, I won. I won fair. And we all said that crap they said, I don't even care about moving on. That's so that's where I'm sitting right. That's where I feel right now. How I feel right now. Fair enough. So there you go. Whatever. Uh, yeah, this game looks it was just sick, though. This is Clank's. Mm -hmm. ruined yeah, Ratchet and Clank rifts apart. Is that a multiplayer game or is it all? Ha oh, it is a multiplayer game. I think you could co-op it. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. Clanks. Game. Clanks is out there. Rift Apart. A Rift Apart. Ratchet and Clank. I gotta look up. I wanna. Mark wait. Mothersbaugh made the soundtrack. Who's that? He's the main dude from Devo. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'll tell you after the show. He does a lot of for TV. Yeah, he does a lot of composing for TV and games and stuff. Uh, thanks for the game recommendation, though. Pretty good reviews on that, too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you could play it on the um, Steam Deck. Like it's a uh, PS5 only. Oh. Yeah. That could be good, though. I have a PS5. Okay, you know, so something, go. something good did come out of this. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I'm, excited, I'm excited to play... Uh, Clank and Ratchet. Something like that. 
I'm thinking about a rift. The bit from the beginning. There was supposed to be a chair bit that he straight up purposefully ruined. We're all about the fucking chair again. I don't even know how to talk about the chair thing. It's so cr it's so crazy to me that this chair thing. I'm really. Yoda's gonna yell at me any second now to be like, "Stop! You're gonna get. You're gonna bring in unnecessary drama to your life," which is probably true. But mm. there was a a bit that they approved. Listen, if nobody was posting this on subreddit, I wouldn't care to respond to it, right? They talked about behind the scenes when I brought when I was going to do the chair bit and Ethan decided to completely change the bit and not talk to me or anyone about it. And then I got. F what was the bit? What was the bit in his mind, do you think? OK, super mega. It all started with Hassan going on super mega's podcast, right? And they gave him a tiny chair and it was funny. And then Ethan, as a joke, they sent Ethan a tiny chair and this was all. A super mega Hassan H3 thing, right? And then dad decides, oh, I want to be part of this. I'm going to also send you a chair, and this is going to be the greatest chair ever, right? That's like the bit. But you understand, like, the bit was that they sent this crappy chair, and Ethan acted all offended and destroyed it or, or shat on it or whatever. Hold the right? phone, though. Right. Because he did not send me some Ethan Allen. That's what I was about to say. It, he sent us a bunch of random crap from Amazon, right. unassembled. I'm gonna send it. Which it's fine, just, and just, we just, said we were gonna assemble it, Yeah, and we that's said fine. we would assemble it, I wanna, I wanna say that. He but said we didn't he, know what was arriving. He said he said he could do it, or because he was busy with something, or if we, we could do it if we wanted to. And I said, and I asked the crew, and we said, yeah, we could do it. Yeah, because I thought yeah. it would be like, you know, an Ikea thing. Right, but right. This, this is where I totally lose the plot so here. I what think, was the bit in his mind? So I'm pretty sure it was super mega offended Ethan. Right. And then Dad wanted to send a nice gesture but it by was, sending but, a skinny chair. But, but did the, he not it, understand that that was a joke? Like the super mega thing? Hold on, you hold think on, that hold was on. all real? Do we have the, what, the leftovers of that chair? Because the, the ingredients so. included to make this chair was like duct tape, comically rubber human feet, like a torn apart chair. I mean, this thing was objectively like dog shit. It was right, all, and that's, it was what all I, like, that's why I'm lost. Like, wasn't the bit that you sent us a crappy chair too? Like, I, I think there were like memes on his channel and that's what made it confusing. Like the duct tape, I guess, is a meme on his channel. It was shit that we didn't understand, so it just looked like- still not nice. About that. It's not nice. Yeah, it doesn't, it's, it's not. It's not like he sent me like a, a, G, a GeForce 10,000 gamer chair, and I like burned it. Right. I mean, that would have been obviously a different bit. And then, so he sent that, and we talked about it, and then he came to this, pick it up, right? This is it. <laughs> this is what he sent me, you guys. This right. is what he sent me that was so nice that I was that I was supposed to have reverence and love for. So who didn't get the bit here, us or or Dad? He said, "Hold on, let me go back, <laughs> and you guys can watch what he says <laughs> over this picture." The scenes when I brought the, when I was going to do the chair bit and Ethan decided to completely change the bit and not talk to me or anyone about it. And then I got forced into doing this weird chair bit he started, which started the whole relationship with me and them off on the wrong foot. And <laughs> Let me go back a little There's further. No we talk about how nice the chair is. Uh, so there you go. Whatever. Uh, By the way, my intention with that was to set him up. For like a nice little riff tiff for tat. Like I was gonna clout him up. We were having like this whole chair feud. I did a whole segment on the show about it for him. Right. I didn't ask him to send me a fucking chair. You know what I mean? He's just like, hey, yo, include me in your show. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's do it. You know, like he's not fucking entitled to. Oh, this is from an hour ago. So no, I mean... no, 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 not an hour ago. I think this was right after you broke the chair. Oh, around oh, oh, that time, oh. yeah. yeah, this chair. This is the chair he's talking about. It's just, it, Ethan ruined the bit from the beginning. What there was bit? a chair bit <laughs> that he straight up purposefully ruined. Bro, this chair? Like, Stop, you're gonna get, you're this gonna bring it. This is where I start to just life. not even be mad, but just true. like, what?
But like, what's going on there was here? A, a bit that they approved, they talked about behind the scenes when I brought the, when I was going to do the chair bit. Everything <laughs> decided to completely change the bit and not talk to me or anyone about it. And then I got forced into doing this weird chair bit he started, which started the whole relationship with me and them off on the wrong foot. I, I suppose he I wanted me to to sit and with reverence and love for this incredible chair, which couldn't even support my weight. It breaks if you sit in it. So, like, what am, what am I, as an entertainer, supposed to make of this chair? And again, I guess he came and built it, right? He sent us all these separate fucking things from, like, an Amazon order and expected us to know how to build this for him? Even if he had instructions, it's just, again, it, like, that's fine, but, like, what... He says I mean, that like there was communication about this beforehand, and we decided to change the plan. Like, what in his mind were we supposed to like praise this chair and be like, "Oh, this is the greatest thing <laughs> yeah, ever"? The, like, the, I, yeah, I the bit didn't really it. make sense. I think we got a little confused. Actually, if you go back even to the episode, we're a little confused about what's going on. And after the fact, he then did a live stream where he said a bunch of stuff, talking bad, and 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 then you reached out to him, I believe, Ethan. I believe you guys talked about it. And he's like, oh, I didn't know it was going to go that way, but I guess now, yeah, I, well, you just play it up. I want to play it up like I'm the sad Oh, loser. yeah, he told me it was a bit. Yeah. I was like, bro, are you seriously upset about this? Like, and and it, he's like, no, it's just a bit, but they, I was just doing a bit where, but people took it the wrong way and they ruined it, but exactly. he's actually not doing a bit then or now. Yeah. Right, so you even tried to address it with him privately and he deflected and what? Either he's lying then or he's lying now. Well, and then also, before we went on this live here today, I, re I once again wanted to reach out to him uh, personally to ask him what's the deal, and he unfollowed me on Twitter. So he's pissed. Ay -ay -ay. And, you know, again, like both times I tried to work it out with him behind the scenes. This time, too, he just unfollowed me. Uh, which means I can't message him. But yes, this should be, this really should be in the, uh, where's all the crown jewels at? Uh, Tower of London. Oh, it's in the Tower of London? I think. I thought it was in some museum. The Tower of London is basically a museum, I believe. Yeah. This belongs in thank, the Tower you, <laughs> of London. <laughs> yes. With yeah. all the greatest gems humanity has ever unearthed. Told you. The fact that this fair chair, uh, a, a testament to the peak of human engineering while sucking a smoko was disrespected by me is a crime punishable by death. I'm dreaming of my next Tucker. What would you think if you got this chair? You were meant to do with it. Booyakashi. <laughs> I mean, what especially when it's a follow-up again to Super Mega also sending a crappy chair. Like it felt like a continuation of that joke. No? To be honest, Super yeah. Super Mega 27's chair was cooler, was better, was nicer. And correct me if I'm wrong. So he sent us all the stuff, and we talked about it on the show, and we're like, "Dad, what the fuck? Why'd you send us all the stuff?" And like play it up, like, "What are we supposed to do with all of this?" Yeah. And then he came here, right, AB, to pick up the stuff so that he could assemble it. Yeah. And so when he came here. That was my first time meeting him in person. I walked right up to him, introduced myself. I was happy to see him legitimately because yeah. we had talked to him a bunch. Mm -hmm. And I said, and I said to him, you know, this is all just like a joke, right? We're just like fucking around. He was fully in on that, the fact that it was it, it's like pro wrestling. We were like playing it up. And by the way, we knew AB was fighting dad at that point, but it wasn't publicly <laughs> known. And so it was all kind of building Wait, up did? towards this rivalry. No. We knew that far back. I don't remember. When he came to the office, we did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, when you were like, "Hey, you know, this is just a joke, right?" It was after he had like was venting on Twitter about what an asshole I am. I don't think so. I I, I forget that part. I just know that you know obviously we have a on the show we were like leaning into this like, "Dad, what the fuck? Why'd you do this?" So I wanted to make it clear when he came in that like we're just fucking around, and I did. We I shot him clear. in a video where. Like everyone was being mean to him, right? For and a then clue. we that was the day we shot that video where he came to pick it up, and we we're like, Dad, what the fuck? I mean, 
we have that footage. He's like completely in on the joke. He's laughing with us, like when we cut and everything. It's like, and he, I have to even suggest, be meaner to me here, right? Have yeah, you... there he said, he said, yeah, be meaner to me at this point. He says, push me down the stairs or something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Right. So like that was part. What's of the next? Joke. He'd be like, hey, like push that, me down the stairs. Right. And at that point, <laughs> it seemed like it was all good. Like it all came out of left field. And it, yeah, and when he did that live stream the first time, we were talking about, well, do we want to bring this up then? And we didn't want to, you know, bring him any hate. We're just like, no, talk to him privately. And you guys supposedly figured it out, but now he's doing this again. So it's, it's wild to me. I think he's going back to the first thing he mm. got mad at me about that I thought we figured out. And he said, no, it's all a bit. And now he's back. I knew it wasn't a bit then. It was too real. Is I'll this all back. a bit? Is this all a bit? Usually people promote fights uh, with fake beefs before the fight. Right. Yeah. Right. Not yeah, after. That's true. I mean, there's, it's not very funny to, like, demean you, his, his uh, opponent, after the fight. That's just corny. Yeah, I mean, it, it sucks. You know, I, I go to a very serious gym. I felt like I was, like, even lucky to be there because I was the least talented there. And they still worked with me. And I feel like I let so many people down, you know, and... Uh, it sucks. It sucks to lose. I, there were fans I felt horrible. They drove all the way from Michigan. Some, you know, even further drove to come see me, and I gave them one round. I felt horrible about that. So for him to say shit like I didn't take it serious, it's just like, well, it's AB, up. you didn't apologize to the most important person affected, right? Dad, right? As you were dying there of a rough, of a ruptured liver, mm -hmm. you should have crawled over to Dad, as he. Hopped on the the ringside ropes and begged for his forgiveness. You should have kissed his feet and said, Dad, with my dying breath, I have this to say to you. Forgive me. I'm sorry about your dad passing away. <laughs> <laughs> please, please forgive me. Say anything about it because it was, I was just trying to go along with whatever was happening, but Ethan in my opinion, with that, with that, as it was a still too early. It was no, no one knew so, I was like, fighting him. Knew. It was nine yeah. months before it was ever going to be announced that that AB and I. Bro, we were do, we were doing like a whole plot line. It was going to be great for you. It was going to be so good for you. Again, this guy wants to be in the WWE, and like, he's like, going to get so butter. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, that, I imagine. Like, I don't understand. Like, like, have you ever watched wrestling? Do you know what a heel is? Like, you're playing a heel. But then getting upset when people are treating you like a heel. So. I love the idea of him, like, behind the scenes getting super <laughs> mad about <laughs> some bits out on WWE. Yo, I want to say, bro, that was super mean, what you said to me out there. And I know, like, you're doing shtick, but honestly, dude, that really hurt my feelings. <laughs> Can you imagine what their reaction? Ugh. I were fighting and he just started being yeah. randomly rude to me and people were like wait why are you being mean to dad i thought dad was a friend of the show so because of ethan because he's in my opinion an actual crappy person and i used to like him i used to defend him and i was i'll be fine without you defending me dad and and you know what can i just what say what, while say, he's though. while he's like, saying that the reason you, you could have wrote out on him a long time ago we got the footage we got the text but you didn't want to put his ass on blast like that. You exactly. didn't want to, You were protecting him by taking all that heat because it was weird for him, for you not to be able to just acknowledge it publicly why this makes no fucking sense. And it sort of seems like he took advantage of that. See, a lot of people don't like Ethan, and that's totally fine. You don't have to <laughs> oh, like come on, Charlie, you too? Damn. Oh, damn, no. Now Dad's among the ranks of the... The fallen fans. Oh, now I must defend Ethan Klein. Oh no, I don't want to. No, 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 no. I have to do. Fuck. Oh shit, not the quartering. Um, and you guys know that I listen. It's not easy for me to let someone say that kind of shit about me and just let it slide. But I did. I did. Yeah. It's not easy. Because I'm fucking crazy like that. You guys know. <laughs> And even now, I'm showing a little bit of restraint. No, trust me, I know. <laughs> you know? We could pull the receipts, but that's just petty and silly. Could pull the footage of you laughing, asking the guys to push you down the stairs. That's stupid. It's silly. It's petty. We don't need to do that. I could pull the text messages that you sent me th at 3 a.m. threatening my family. No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> that didn't happen. Anyway, yeah, he says I'm a crappy person. It's like, come on, dude, seriously. And I used to like him. I used to defend him. Actual crappy person. And I used to like him. I used to defend him. And I was like, all right, I get why people complain about him now. Oh, he he's a fallen. He's a totally fallen fan, man. He's like, I'm with the haters 100 percent now. I get it. They was right the whole time. Keemstar, my DMs are open, baby. This was being really unnecessarily mean to me because he thought it was a funny bit, but yet no one knew why. And the bit for the chair was a completely different thing. It was a nice gesture for me. Okay, let me open the chair again. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there it is. Here he goes, The this wonderful gesture. For the chair was a completely different thing. It was a nice gesture for me to... The joke was dad was trying to be nice because eight mega sixty four was mean to that's them, was mean to Ethan. I'm trying to send a funny, innocent, kind gesture sending this chair. He twisted it to to make it so that he could start hating on me. And it made no sense. It was the dumbest bit ever because there was no reason for us to be feuding. And that was the beginning of a disastrous <laughs> back and forth between page three and <laughs> there was no back and forth i mean it was just you being a dick and me trying to calm things behind the scenes you know but now we got a back and forth oh there's not gonna be any back and forth i just want to address this once but uh just let me know if you want this to go to the london tower or the Pal the versailles uh any, you know, major museums who, if you have any takers, let me know. I'll send it to them. Understand this is a collectible. Highly prized. The nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, frankly. As a person who prides themselves on... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And few... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this for real? Is this real? Okay, so this, this, I guess, makes sense. This is King Charles. It's a replica of his chair. That makes sense. Okay, so maybe I was disrespectful. Okay. That makes sense! <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. That's my bad. And WWE style beefs. Okay, this is my favorite part. I do. This is, this is. Feuds and... WWE style beefs. That's like what I do. It's what he does. WWE professionally with Dolph Ziggler. Ethan is just kind of an idiot. And makes this man is, this is what he does. It's who he is. That's what I do. So fuck me, I guess, for getting that wrong. Himself only good and does not make other people look good because he can't take. Any insults at Oh, Ela's pissed now. Ela said there's no chat, but I want to leave a comment. <sighs> she said, how dare he say Ethan's a crappy person? Can you say that? I'm pissed hearing that. They better fear Ela. Thank you, Ela. Actually, Ela, you're the great. Thank you. I love you. I agree. It was kind of shocking, but... Uh... Stay down, fucking baby. <laughs> You pissed off Ela now, dude. You're fucking. You're crazy going that route, boy. You don't want to mess with me. Mm -mm. Thank you, Ela. I love you so much. You're so beautiful. It's stunning, and the photos you did yesterday are awesome. Thank you. And you're about to give birth to another beautiful third child, and I'm so excited and proud of you. By the way, she's not pregnant yet. It's not an announcement. Ela said, I interpreted the chair bit exactly the same as Ethan. Yeah, I mean, I saw the whole thing playing out. It was, it, it, for me, I saw it all. I was like, yo, I'm going to hook that up. This is going to be a great bit. I fucking dozer. Anyways, I'll stop talking about it because I'm like, going to just start rambling. Yeah. So, H, drunk. so H3, <laughs> whatever, dude. I know the audience is nice, but Ethan is pretty stupid in my opinion. <laughs> And no one ever tells him that because he's the boss and they have to just... They tell me that all the time, dude. 
<laughs> I wish they'd say it less. I wish they'd say it less. <laughs> AB, we had a call, a meeting yesterday, and AB goes, listen, dude, <laughs> oh, I got to break it to you. You have to stop using chat GPT too much on this <laughs> He's show. He's right. I, after I said that, I was like, please let someone fucking back me up. And, and thankfully, <laughs> Dan backed me up, but uh, man, I was- No, I went into it, and no yeah. one I would back you up on it. <laughs> GP's up. I get called like an idiot by these guys daily. And I, and I'm, I think it's awesome that we have a, a workplace where you're open to letting your employees shit on you all the time, so thank you. Idiot. Don't push it. Don't push. <laughs> Don't push. No, I'm kidding. I'm a radical communicator. I appreciate people who speak frankly and openly. Because then, how, I mean, how else are you supposed to know anything? I don't want to be surrounded by yes people, men who don't fucking tell me when something, you know what I mean? It's wrong. Let me speak! Exactly. I don't want you to sound like that, AB. <laughs> it's pretty stupid in my opinion. <laughs> and no one ever tells him that because he's the boss and they have to just make everything better for him and let him say stupid things and then just why do you presume to know so much about what happens here like whatever fake ass fan fake fan dad act like he didn't do anything dumb when he's actually is he talking about the chair thing he thinks that everybody <sighs> whatever dumb. he did to take responsibility for his actions every once in a while yeah anyway the only thing I can think he may be referring to is because after when we were texting, I was like, oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't know it was going to go like that. But, yeah, it just kind of happens on the show. But that was because we, I did tell him that uh, we would build it. And then when we got it, it was like, what the fuck is this? But that's the only angle I could think he's referring to. I mean, I was to. doing improvisation. Yeah. I was uh, was riffing. I was raffing. I, I just mean, didn't want him to think like, yeah, I was like I intended on fucking with him. But I don't know. I was riffing and I was mm -hmm. raffing, brother. And so that's that. So I just want to address this one time. Don't give dad a hard time, you know. But uh, uh, what can I do? You, uh, you have to. And, like, at first I was angry. That's why I was telling him, all right, you think I didn't get training. Let's go spar wherever you want at first. But then after, like, seeing more of the footage, I just I kind of felt, I don't know, something, something's not right. So, you know, I wish him the best. And, uh, yeah. He's so, going through something, I guess. Yeah. But like the ironic part was like I'm I was I mean I'm still am excited to watch him fight again. He's an interesting fighter, and now that he's not up against you, uh, obviously it'd be a lot more enjoyable experience. I don't have to worry about you dying, which I thought you were. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I mean, you know, good luck in your boxing career, and uh, I will be watching Dad uh, to your to your next fight. Um, I don't know about the WWE. E future though I gotta say probably not the best protocol in terms of handling beef thank you shout out to uh Isis See? Dan See? to uh Dan is, is another kind of prolapse milk